Hi, everyone, and welcome to day nine of our 12 Days of Fitness Challenge. So today we have tricep dips. So I have my box back here because I'm going to be doing my tricep dips on those. We're going to add just a little bit extra challenge to this tricep dip by having one leg raised. So we're going to do nine dips on one leg and then nine dips on the other. And then we're going to do days eight through one after we finish that. All right. So coming down to your surface. So that could be a chair, a couch, whatever is available to you today. And then go ahead and just lift those hips off of that surface. And then I want you to think about pulling the shoulder blades down your back, lifting your chest, opening up the shoulders, okay? So for that um, leg lift, you can take that leg out if you want. You can just hold it bent. You can take it over into a figure four stretch. So really a lot of different options are available to you. So whatever is um, the most comfortable, just feel free to do that. All right, so find that tricep dip position here. Remember, fingertips are facing your um, tush and go ahead, lift one leg. We have nine on each. Here we go. One, elbows point backwards. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Good, go ahead, set that foot down. Lift that other leg. Here we go. Pull those shoulders back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Good. Go ahead and just take a seat. If you want to take a quick um, stretch on that tricep, you can take that arm up and then go ahead and just give it a little pull in. And you can do that on the other side as well. Okay, so moving on to our day eight exercise. That was our split lunge jumps. We had eight on each side. So remember, we're not trying to be on a tightrope for these. So we want to stagger those feet. And then we're going to go ahead and do our split jumps. Now, remember, if the jumps are not working for you, then you're going to go down into a squat and stand it right back up. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Excellent. We have eight on that other side. So stay in those feet. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Nice job, everyone. All right. So we have day nine done, day eight done, and whew, my heart rate is definitely up. Then we're moving on to day seven, which were our squat jumps. So remember for the squat jumps, if you just don't want to put any jumping in your moves today, you can always just squat it back and come up on those toes, okay? So we have seven of these. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Whew. Excellent. All right. So day six were our push-ups, and we had six sets of five push-ups. All right, so I'm gonna do mine on a raised surface today. You can always do those on your mat. So come on down. And then just remember with your push-ups, whether you're doing these on your toes or on your knees, you want to tuck the hips up, pulling the belly in without really hunching the back. Though, so, I mean, you do wanna get that shoulder bridge dome just a little bit, so you're not sagging into your shoulder blades, but try not to hunch them up towards your ears, okay? All right, so we have six sets of five. Tucking the hips under, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Set one down. One, two, three, four, five. Set two down. 
One, two, three, four, five, three sets down, three to go. One, two, three, four, five, four down. One, two, three, four, five, and one more set. One, two, three, four, and five. Whew. Nice job. If you want to just take a little break, big stretch in between those. So just making sure that you lengthen that low spine and that the head and the chest sort of fall towards your mat. That gives a nice stretch to the shoulders and the chest. All right, stepping it back up, part of my least favorite day are those five burpees on day five. All right, so remember you can always modify this as you need to, but here we are. One, two, three, four, and five. Whew. Awesome. All right. Heart rate is back up again. Day four. We're our four star jobs. All right. So once again, you can modify out, out, in, in, or you can jump it. All right. I'll get that heart rate back up again. Not that it has fully come down, but we'll elevate it once more. Here we go. One, two, three, and four. Awesome. Day three, where our curtsy lunges. We did three sets, 10 per set. So here we are. One, sit it back there. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch sides. One, two. So you really want to sit those hips back. Four. I lost count. Five. We might do an extra one. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Drive through that knee, or excuse me, that heel. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Final set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last side. One. Two, three, keep the chest lifted. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Woo! Those really get those glutes. All right. We completed our 30 lunges per leg. And then day two were our two sets of 25 jumping jacks. All right, we're almost there. So let's get that first set out of the way. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, 
One, two, three, four, five. Whew. All right. So we have one more set of 25 to go. Then we'll move into our last exercise. Day one was that plank. All right. Here we go. Last set of 25. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, and five. Woo. All right. So allow the heart to come down, the heart rate. Big deep breaths. Try to avoid those shallow breaths and get that big deep belly breathing. And when you're ready, we'll come on down. So lots of options on planking. You choose which one you want to do today. I've been loving the elevated plank. So I'm going to go ahead and do that again today. All right. And so find that plank position. And here we go. One. So I just want to get my shoulders over my wrists. I want to pull my belly button up towards my spine, tucking my hips under, and then driving through my heels. That activates the glutes. You got it. We're already 20 seconds into it. So big deep breaths here. I like to spread my fingertips nice and wide as well. And then I usually have my feet about hip width distance apart. The narrower feet, the more challenging it will be. We are now 40 seconds into it. We have 20 seconds to go. Hang on to it. You've got it. Pull up from your surface. So once you start to sink into the hands, they'll start to sink into those shoulder blades, which will really hurt those shoulders. So hang on. Here we go. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Lower those knees, sit those hips back, lengthen those arms. That was really great, you guys. Whew. Catching my breath. That was great. So we made it through day nine. We have just three more days to go. It definitely is challenging as we add all those days together, but we are doing great and feeling stronger. So I will see you right back here tomorrow for day 10.